A well-established mind, a mind which is in a state of samyukti, is referred to as a kalpa viksha. If you organize your mind to a certain level of organization, it in turn organizes the whole system. Your body, your emotion, your energies, everything gets organized in that direction. Once all these four dimensions of you, your physical body, your mind, your emotion and the fundamental life energies are organized in one direction. Once you are like this, anything that you wish happens without even lift, lifting a little finger actually. It would help to assist it with activity, but even without doing any activity, you can still manifest what you want. If you organize these four dimensions in one direction and keep it unwavering in that direction for a certain period of time, right now the problem with your mind is, every moment it is changing its direction. It is like you want to travel somewhere and every two steps if you keep changing your direction, the question of you reaching the destination is very remote unless it happens by chance. So organizing our minds and in turn organizing the whole system and these four basic dimensions of who you are right now in one direction, if you do this, you are a Kalpavruksha yourself, anything that you wish will happen. But right now, if you look at your lives, everything that you have wished for till now, if it happens, you're finished. Everything and everybody that you have desired for, if all of that lands up in your house today, could you live with that? So if you want to become empowered, it is also important that you become responsible as to what you ask for and what you don't. Right now the world situation is just this, we are hugely empowered with technology. Today it doesn't take six, six billion people to destroy this planet. One man by pressing the wrong button can destroy the whole planet. When we are empowered like this, it's very important that our physical action, emotional action, mental action and energy actions are controlled and properly directed. If it is not so, we become destructive, self-destructive. Right now, that is our problem. The technology which is supposed to make our life beautiful and easy has become the source of all the problem that we are destroying the very basis of our life which is the planet. So what should have been a boon, we are making a curse out of it. What has brought incredible levels of comfort and convenience to us in the last hundred years or so has also become a threat to our life simply because we are not conscious action, we are in a compulsive state of action. So organizing our minds fundamentally means moving from a compulsive state of activity to a conscious state of activity. You might have heard of people for whom they asked for something and beyond all expectations it came true, to them, true for them. Generally this happens to people who are in faith. Now, let's say you want to build a house. If you start thinking, oh I want to build a house, to build a house I need fifty lakhs, but I have only fifty rupees in my pocket, not possible, not possible, not possible. The moment you say not possible, you are also saying I don't want it. So on one level you are creating a desire that you want something, on another level you are saying I don't want it. So in this conflict it may not happen. Someone who has some faith in a god or in a temple or whatever, who is a simple-minded. Faith works only for those people who are simple-minded. Thinking people, people who are too much thinking, for them it never works. A childlike person who has a simple faith in his god or his temple or whatever, he goes to the temple and says, Shiva, I want a house. I don't know how, you must make it for me. Now in his mind there are no negative thoughts, will it happen, will it not happen, is it possible, is it not possible. These things are completely removed by this simple act of faith. 
Now he believes Shiva will do it for him and it will happen. So is Shiva going to come and build your house? No, I want you to understand, God will not lift his little finger for you. What you refer to as God is the source of creation. As a creator, he has done a phenomenal job, there's no question about it. Could you think of a better creation than this? In anybody's imagination to think anything better than what is there right now. So as a creator, he has done his job wonderfully well. But if you want life to happen the way you want it, because right now the very crux of your happiness and your well-being is this. If at all if you're unhappy, <laughs> the only and only reason why you're unhappy is life is not happening the way you think it should happen. That's all it is. So if life is not happening the way you think it should happen, you're unhappy. If life happens the way you think it should happen, you are happy. It's as simple as that. So if life has to happen the way you think it should happen, first of all, how you think, with how much focus you think, how much stability is there in your thought, and how much reverberance is there in the thought process, will determine whether your thought will become a reality or is it just an empty thought. Or how, how you do not create any impediments for your thought by creating negative thought process. Is something possible or not possible? Is destroying humanity. What is possible and not possible is not your business, it's nature's business. Your business is just to strive for what you want. If I ask you two simple questions, I want you to just look at this and answer this. Right now from where you're sitting, can you just fly off? You say no. Right now from where you're sitting, can you get up and walk? You'll say yes. What is the basis of this? Why you say no to flying and yes to walking? Because past experience of life, many times you've gotten up and walked, never did you fly off. Or in other words, you're using the past experience of life as a basis for deciding whether something is possible or not possible. Or in other words, you have decided that what has not happened till now cannot happen in your life in future. This is a disgrace to humanity and the human spirit. What has not happened till now on this planet can happen tomorrow. Human beings are capable of making it happen tomorrow. So what is possible and what is not possible is not your business. That is nature's business, nature will decide that. You just see what is it that you really want and strive for that. And if your thought is created in a powerful way, without any negativity, without any negative thoughts bringing down the intensity of the thought process, it will definitely manifest. The whole existence today, modern science is proving, is just a reverberation of energy. It is a vibration. Similarly, your thought is also a vibration. If you generate a powerful thought and let it out, it will always manifest itself. So generally, people are using faith as a means to remove the negative thought. Today, once you have become thinking human beings, your faith is not too deep. It doesn't matter how much faith you think you have, somewhere doubts always crop up. Right now the way your minds are made, this moment if God appears right here, you will not surrender to Him. You will want an investigation whether He is really God or not. With this kind of mind, you should not waste your time on faith. So there is an alternative which is commitment. If you simply commit yourself to creating what you really care for, now once again your thought gets organized in such a way, there is no such thing as whether it's possible or not possible. There is no hurdle in your thought process. Your thought flows freely towards what you want. Once this happens, making it happen will also naturally follow. So to create what you really care for, First and foremost thing is that what you want must be well manifested in your mind, that this is what I want. Is that what you really want, you must look at it because any number of things in your life you have thought this is it, 
The moment you reach there, you realize that's not it, it's the next one and the next one and the next one. So what is it that one really wants is one thing. First of all, we must explore. Once that is clear and we are committed to creating it, now there is a continuous process of thought in that direction. Once you can maintain a steady stream of thought without changing direction, definitely this is going to happen in your life or it will definitely manifest as a reality in your life.